Good afternoon, class. So today we're marking the homework. We're looking at bod mass. Book C. Worksheet 2. Right, so the first half. We are given one over one and one over six or one and a six minus in brackets with a half plus a third. So what needs to be done first? The brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to find an LCM here. Not so change that to improper fraction. So it's going to give us 7 over 6 minus. What's your LCM inside this bracket? 6. And multiply this by 3. And multiply it by 2. So 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 plus 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. So it's 7 over 6 minus five, 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. So what we notice? The denominators are the same already, not so. So what is 7 minus 6? Sorry, 7 minus 5 is 2 over 6. What goes into 2 and into 6 without remainder? 2. 2 goes into 6 once, 2 goes into 6. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6 thrice, so the answer is? Third. Okay. Sorry about that. See any confusion there? All right. Let's look at number three as we are doing the odd numbers only. So the first thing we normally do is we change it to into improper fractions, so this mixed fraction, so let's do that first. Okay. Okay, so that gives me 12 plus 3 is 15 over 4 minus. We don't drop the bracket until there's one term inside the bracket. So it'll be one fraction. 12 plus uh, 5 is 17 over 6 plus. And okay, I think it's added in, because no? that's already in the four mini one to be, so it's 3 over 8. So we're going to do inside the brackets first, not so. So it's going to be 15 over 4 minus, what's your LCM between 6 and 8? What's your LCM between 6 and 8? 24, how do you get 24? We count in multiples of the largest denominator, which is 8. 6 can't go into 8, 16, 6 can't go into 16, 24. Which makes 24 my LCM. So this must be multiplied by? 6 multiplied by what is 24? 4. And 8 multiplied by? 3. So 17 multiplied by 4. 17 multiplied by 4 is going to be 28. 4, 5, 6, 68. Okay, plus 3 multiplied by 3 is? 9. So it's 15 over 4 minus 17, 7 over 24. Is that correct? What's my LCM here? 24. So I must multiply this by 6. Multiply that by 1. So 15 multiplied by 6 is 90 minus 77. What's 90 minus 77? 13. So the answer is 13 over 3. Any confusion eh? All right. Look at the next question. Mm. 
Number five. So what needs to be done first here? You get the bracket. So what's your LCM inside this bracket? Six. So three multiplied by what is six? Two. two. So multiply numerator also by two. Two multiplied by what is six? Three. So one multiplied by two is two. One multiplied by three is three. This must be multiplied by five over. What's two plus three? Five. So it's five over six multiplied by five over. So anything can cancel here? No. Three? No. So 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 over 6. 4 can be written as uh, 25, 6 goes into 25 4 times and 1 remaining. So it's 4 and 1 over 6. Okay? But we don't have to write the, the mixed fraction format. Let's look at the next one. Here we've got subtraction and addition. What must be done first? Whatever comes. So remember, multiplication and division can interchange, and so can addition and subtraction. So whatever comes first, from left to right. So what is coming first here? Subtraction. So I'm going to do this first. Okay, but actually I can do it all in one here. Not so. I can find one LCM for it all. So we look at the biggest denominator, which is? Seven. seven. Can uh, two go into seven? No, so you can't count the multiples of 7. So 7, 14. Get 2 going to 14? Yes. Get 3 going to 14? No. The next multiple is 21. 3 can go 2 count. 42? No, 21, 28. 2 count 3. 3 can? 28? 2 can? 3 count? 35? No? 42? Yes. Okay? The 42 is my answer. So you ask yourself, okay, 2 multiplied by what is 42? 21. So that is 21 minus. That minus is coming from me. 3 multiplied by what is 42? It is 14. So divided by 3. 3 goes into 1, carry 1. It's 14, yes. So I'm going to multiply 3 by 40 and 1 by 40. 7 multiplied by what is 42? 6. So what's 21 minus 14? 7. And 7 plus 6? 13. 13. Over 42. Okay. Is there any confusion there? No? Number 9. So here we've got subtraction. So what we need to do first? Change everything to improper fractions. Okay. I know most of you can work with the with the with the with the mixed fractions. It makes life easier for us. Ten times seventy seven, ten plus this, seventy three over ten minus that's eight plus one is nine over four. Minus twenty three over five. So what's your LCM? You look at the biggest thing I'm going to which is 10. Get 4 going to 10? Next multiple? 20. Get 4 going to 20? Get 5 going to 20? So, LCM is of course 20. So, multiply this by 2. 4 multiply what is 20? 5. 5 multiply what is 20? 4. So, 73 times 2 is 100 and 46 minus. 99 multiplied by 5 is 45 minus 23 multiplied by 4 is 12 carry 1, 892. Is that correct? Yes. So 146 minus 45 is 101. Not so. And 101 minus 92. So it becomes 9. Eight. I'm getting eight. You guys get that? Okay, eight over twenty. Four goes into eight twice, four goes into twenty. Five. So it's two over 
You must always simplify, no? Yo, 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 answer there. Just check. I know you're not allowed to use a calculating exam. We don't want to know how you work it out, just in case you made a mistake. Minus two is? It's a nine. Now, why are you telling me the answer is right? Huh? You talk, you didn't do that one. Sorry? So, now why are you telling me this is right? Did you also get the eight? No, you had to say no. Um, I got nine. Did I check if it was right? No? In future. Sorry about that. People number 11. Do brackets first. Not so. So 7 minus 4 is? Yeah, 3 times 2 is? My apologies for the interruption. We are looking for a black iPhone with a butterfly at the back of the phone. If you have picked it up, please report it to the office. Or you will get into trouble if the tempo, if the cell phone is traced to your uh, area. Okay. So we got so five to six minus seven over twelve multiplied by three. Uh, please come and report it at the office. Thank you. So what needs to be done first? Okay. The draft. So what's your LCM? Twelve. And the six goes into twelve. So six must be multiplied by what? 2. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 minus. 12 multiplied by what is 12? 1. So 1 multiplied by 77 multiplied by 3 over? So what do I do now? 10 minus 7 is? 3. So it's 3 over 12 multiplied by 3 over? So of course this can cancel here, not so. Or the. So 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 12. Four times. Is there anything else that can cancel? So three multiplied by one is three. Four multiplied by one is. Is there any confusion there? No. no. All okay with that. Number fifteen. We got multiplication and brackets. So what must be done first? The brackets. So you're going to do 12 over 1 multiplied by, what's your LCM here? 6. So let's multiply this by? 2. 6 is multiply by? 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 minus? So it's 12 over 1 multiplied by. 2 minus 1 is? 1 over 6. What's going to happen here? Cancel. What can go into 6 and 12 without reminder? 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 12 twice. Anything there? No. So what's 2 multiplied by 1? 2 over 1, which is? Any confusion there? No. 17. But multiplication and subtraction, what must be done first? And multiplication. Not so. That's over 1. So 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 24. 6 times. 1 multiplied by 6 is? 6 over. 1 multiplied by 1 is? Minus. It's naturally over 1, not so. 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 24. 4 times. 1 multiplied by 4 is? 4 over 1. So it's the same as saying 6 minus 4, not so. 6 minus 4 is? Number 19. Here we got 8 and 6. 8 and 1, 6 minus in brackets. 4 plus a fifth plus 2 and 9 tenths. 
So what do we do first? Change everything to improper fraction. So 6 multiplied by 8 is 48 plus 1 is 49 over 6. Minus. 4 multiplied by 5 is? Plus 1 is? 21 over 5 plus. Nine times, uh, 2 times 10 is? 20 plus 9 is? 29 over 10. So now, of course, the brackets first. What's your LCM inside the brackets? 10. So I can write this as 1. So 5 must be multiplied by 2. It's 42. 10 must be multiplied by 1. It's 29. Will you agree with that? Yes. It's 49 over 6 minus. What is 42 plus 29? 60, 70, 1. Is that correct? You again say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What's the LCM here? Yeah? Can 6 go into 10? No. 20? 30. 6 goes into 30. Correct? Yes. So 6 must be multiplied by 5. And 10 must be multiplied by 3. So, so 49 multiplied by 5. So they give you 45. That's 24, correct? 245 minus. That's going to give you 243. Is that correct? No. That's 3. 21. 2 for 1. Uh, 2, 1, 3, sir. No? So 245 minus 213. That gives you 2, 3, 32. Is that correct? 32 over 30. 2 goes into 32 16 times. 2 goes into 30 15 times. So 16 over 15, 1 and 1 over 5. You all agree with that? Yes. Let's check. That's 1 over 6. 1 and 1 over 6. Minus upper brackets. Um, 4 and the fifth. Plus. Two and nine. Correct. Okay. Good sum. And again, all the sums is good, no? So what was it done first? Change to improper, yes? So that's going to give you 7 over 6 minus. Now there's nothing happening here. So what's the else in terms of your mixed fractions? The else of course, is 6, so it's multiplied this way. 2, and this by 3. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So it's 5 over 6. So what is 7 over 6 minus? The denominators are the same, not so? So I can say 7 minus 6 is minus 5. 7 over 6 minus 5 over 6 is 2 over 6. Okay. Simplify by dividing by 2. 2 going to 2 once, 2 going to 6. 3 times, of course, the answer is... A third. No? No? Next, number 23. Again, we got the improper fraction on the outside. We're going to sort out the brackets in the same time. So it's going to give you 13 over 3 minus. What's the else inside the bracket? 6. Because I took a guy to 6 without 3 minus. 6 was multiplied by? 1. 2 must be multiplied by 3. What's 1 times 5? Plus 1 multiplied by 3 is? So it's 13 over 3 minus. What's 5 plus 3? 8. 8 over 6. So what's your LCM here? 6. 6. So I'll multiply this by 2. Multiply that by? What is 13 times 2? Minus? Between 6 minus 8? 18 no? over 6. And 18 over 6, of course, is? Is that correct? No, you didn't get that. Let's check. Or do you pick up your mistake? Yes. Or do you pick up my mistake? 
Today's script. Where, where did you make your mistake? So I said 18 and I write 16 and 6 and I write 6. And I got 2 over 3. Huh? 2 over 3? 2 over 1, 3 and I got 2. No, but 6 got into 18 how many times? 3 times. Twenty-five. You got division and multiplication. So what must be done first? Whatever comes from right to left, you do first. So division is first. So I'm going to eat the change. Not so much. So six over seven multiplied by five over three multiplied by seven over. You all agree with that? Let's straight multiplication now. So I can say three. Uh, two goes into six. Three times two going to ten. Five times. Okay. You all agree that can be done, eh? Seven goes into seven once, seven going to seven once. Five going to five once, five going to five once. Three going to three once, three going to three once. So what are we left with? We only have the one multiply by one multiply by one. Over? One multiply by one multiply by one. Which is simply? One over one. One over one, which is? One. Okay. It's very simple. 27, second last one. So what do we do first? Change everything to improper fractions. So it's going to be 7 plus 5 is, no, 6 plus 5 is, 11 over 6 times 6 over 5 divided by 7 over we change this to multiplication, tumble and times. 11 over 6 must be multiplied by 6 over 5. Must be multiplied by 5 over 7. Okay? Now we can simplify again. 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 6 once. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 5 once. What's 11 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1? 11 over 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7? So it's 11 over 7. Okay. And of course, the last one. 29. What we're going to do first is the brackets. So we change this to improper fraction. So it's going to be 2 over 1 minus. It's going to give you 5 over 4. Multiplied by 12 over. What did you else see inside the bracket? And multiply this by 4 and this by 2. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 minus 5 multiplied by 12 over 1. What's 8 minus 5? 3 over 4 multiplied by 12 over 1. Could have simplified the early by 1. Okay? 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 12. 3 times. What is 3 multiplied by 3? 9 over 1, which is? No. So that concludes worksheet 2 of book C. Okay.